On one such outing, he encountered an eclectic group of people stretching around the corner of a gray concrete building as ornate and generic as a reconstituted bank. They were assembled single file and waiting to enter for a mysterious purpose that made passersby look twice, wondering what they might be missing. He'd seen such lines before, but had never cared. Now he slid between two car bumpers, crossed the street, and approached the last man in line, and, like a tourist new to the phenomenon of anonymous city gatherings, asked him what was what. You'll no doubt be surprised to hear that my parents, my teachers, my classmates take me for an idiot. I have to say here and now that I've asked for it. I speak as little as possible. I never comment on what other people say. My school results are distressing. When I'm in a room, nobody takes any notice, notice of me. I don't wash very often. My choice of clothes is appalling. I smoke, drink, take drugs. Judging by appearances, I'm a repulsive person. This existence, which could be seen as a sacrifice, even though it doesn't make me suffer much, is anyway a necessary evil to reveal the secrets of those around you. It's well known that you must remain hidden. Mm -hmm.